Hello students, welcome back to the business studies. In this meeting, we'll start the chapter staffing, chapter number six, staffing. We'll discuss about what is the meaning and importance, why the staffing is necessary, what are the importance and what is the meaning. So first of all, we know the staffing is what? It is a managerial function. We have seen in the functions of management, planning, organizing, staffing. So staffing is what? It is a function which play very important role because in this function, the managers have to fill the vacant position. Whatever the vacant positions are there in the organization, they have to fill by necessary recruitment and selection. So depend, success of the organization, success of the organization depends upon the proper staffing. If we can take example that, suppose there are the two organizations. One organization where there is a sufficient financial and physical resource. But there is, they ha don't have the efficient staff. They don't have the efficient human resource. And other ex organization where there is not any sufficient physical and financial resource, but there is sufficient efficient human resource. The people are so much talented. They have the creativity. They have the very good experience, knowledge. So second organization can win over any situations. Whatever the changes in the dynamic environment, they can win over the situations and also they can win over the competitors because of the efficient staff. So staff is a much important asset for the organization. We can take example that Infosys. Infosys software and uh, consulting company is treating its human resource as non-financial asset. Staffing function play very important role because the success of the organization depends upon the human resource. Without the efficient human resource, the organization cannot succeed. So it becomes the duty of the organization to keep their employees well satisfied, well motivated. Because well motivated staff can work hard. They will do whatever the work they want to do from the employees. So efficient staff play a very important role for the success of the organization. So we can say that the staffing is a process of the management, which is concerned with obtaining, utilizing and maintaining. First of all, they have to find out how many staff they want for a particular department, particular uh, whatever the labors, how much they want. They have to utilize them properly by giving them the job specification and they have to maintain a satisfactory and satisfied workforce. Whatever the compensation, whatever the benefits the company have to do, give to their employees, they should give to their employees. There should not be any exploitation by the employer. Otherwise, there will be unsatisfied workforce in the organization and which may harmful for the organization. So, organization which want the success in the future, which want to win over the competitor, should have the well satisfactory and satisfied workforce. You can say that staffing is a managerial function of filling and keeping filled position in the organization. Whenever there is a vacant position in the organization, it becomes the duty of the managers to fill that vacant position immediately without any delay. Otherwise, there will be the burden of burden of that work on other employees. So they have to keep this uh, vacant position filled in the organization. There should not be any overburden on the staff. So thus adequate staffing or provision for appropriate human resource is essential. Provision for appropriate human resource. It means there should not be any overburden or underburden. There should not be any overstaff or understaff in the organization. If there is overstaff, suppose in the organization, there is a need of 10 employees. We are taking example that suppose the need of the 10 employees, but appointment is for 15. Appointment is done for the 15 employees. So there is a overstaff. 
this five staff, extra staff will not contribute anything. They will just do time pass in the organization and they may harm for the organization. So there should not be any over staff and there should not be any under staff. Under staff, it means suppose the need of the 10 employees and organization have appointed only the seven employees. So three employees, the burden of the three employees will be pass on to the other employees. So this should not be happen because the overburdened employee may not work efficiently. There will be a lot of work burden. So they have to keep proper appropriate human resource. Whatever the need, number of employees are needed by the organization, that number of employees should be appointed. There should not be any over staff or under staff in the organization. So Staffing give the importance to each and every single person in, employee in the organization. Each and every human resource in the organization play a very important role because they are the ultimate performer or the, of the work. Whatever the work is done by the worker, they that work is done by them only in the organization. The manager will not perform the work of the other workers. So, the ultimate performer are the workers and these workers should be well motivated and well satisfied. Then we have to see what are the definition. According to Nutz and Ordonnell, the definition is given for the staffing is a managerial function of staffing involve the manning and organizational structure. The managerial function of staffing involve Manning the organizational structure through proper and effective selection means the staffing function it is the organ it gives the structure to the organization through the proper and effective selection appraisal and development of the personnel to fill the role designed into the structure in the organizational structure we have seen the department is created particular number of in department, how many employees did it, the structure is created. Actually, implementation is done in the staffing because staffing involves the many in the organization structure. Whatever the department number, want the number of employees that recruitment selection is done in the staffing function. So, it, is, it gives a structure, it gives a many in the organization structure through the Effective selection in the staffing. We are doing the proper selection by various tests, performance tests, personality tests. So, proper selection is done, proper appraisal is given through the performance appraisal. Appraisal is given to the employees and development of the personnel through the various trainings. So, fill the role designed into the structure. In the particular department, number of employees are appointed, giving them proper training and having the very good compensation and other extra benefits so this man, uh, employees will be well satisfied so we can say that it is a managerial function the staffing is what it is a managerial function then we have to do the importance of staffing what are the importance of staffing what are the benefits of staffing first filling the role by obtaining the competent personnel with the help of the staffing, the organization can fill the vacant job positions by the competent personnel. Because in the staffing, there is a selection recruitment which is done by the proper way. So, if it is done in the proper way, the organization can select the best candidate. Out of the so many candidates, they can select the best one and that competent personnel is very much beneficial for the organization. So, by the staffing process, through the proper recruitment selection, the organization can obtain the very good candidate, very good employee for their organization, which is, who is very talented, who have the very good experience, knowledge, personality. So, they can obtain the competent personnel for their vacant job position. Second is uh, placing the right person at the right job. It means, the person having the right qualification, having the proper experience may be placed for that vacant job position. Suppose for the marketing department, for the marketing department, we want the marketing manager. 
so marketing manager should have the very good qualification regarding the marketing and he should have the very good personality very good communication power so we can place that person the person having the very good communication skill and having the education related to that experience related to marketing we can place that person for that marketing job so with the help of the staffing we can place the right person at the right job then third one is a growth of the enterprise with the efficient staff with the efficient staff the organization can grow organization can grow with the efficient staff because of the very good creativity very good knowledge experience so with the help of the efficient staff the organization can grow over the time there can be the growth of the enterprise then optimum utilization of the human resource with the help of the staffing the organization can find that how many actually how many number of employees they want proper planning human resource planning they are doing then they are uh, comparing that how many already existing and how many they want more so with the help of the staffing there will be the optimum human resource in the organization there will not be any over staff and under staff in the organization the next is the help in competing with the help of the staffing with the help of proper efficient human resource the organization can win over its competitor and against any any situations any difficult situation they can win over because of their efficient human resource so with the help of the staffing the organization can win over its competitor as well as against any typical situation we can give the solution to various problems because of their efficient staff then improve the job satisfaction and morale of the employees with the help of proper staffing there will be the proper job satisfaction because in the staffing after the particular uh, candidate employee selected for a particular job he is given the proper training proper orientation so that he have the confidence in his mind he without con confidence he cannot perform well but with the confidence because of the orientation because of the training he get the very good confidence and he uh, whatever the work is provided to to him he can perform well so it improves the job satisfaction and morale because there is a uh, whatever the compensation are given appraisal is appraisal is given so this gives a morale to the employees it, it boosts up the confidence of the employees and next is the key to effectiveness of other functions the staffing is key to other function like the directing and controlling after staffing the next function is what directing and controlling so if staffing is not done properly directing and controlling cannot perform properly so the staffing play very important role for the success of other function like the directing and controlling so these are the various importance of staffing so in this video we have seen what is the staffing and what are what is the definition and what are the importance of staffing so thank you so much